Welcome to episode 84 of the Radio Control Show. Sponsored by AmyandHobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. First-person view flying is one of the hottest new interests in RC today. The Academy of Model Aeronautics has even developed guidelines for the proper procedures of flying in FPV mode. One controversial video we found is a flight over New York City and around the Statue of Liberty. For this week's Tech Center, we're gonna go with the new guy, Senior West Coast Editor, Stephen Bess. All right, thanks, Kevin. For this week's Tech Tip, we're gonna show you how to clean up your servo wires. So here's a servo right out of the box. In order to protect it with shrink tubing, you need to find a piece of tubing that's slightly wider than the plug, cut it to the length of the servo lead wire, and then heat it with a heat gun or a cigarette lighter. You can find shrink tubing in black, uh, multiple different colors, red, yellow, if you have a colored theme for your car. We prefer to use black and that's what we've installed on the low C car here to give a little bit more of a professional and stealth look. Once the tubing is shrunk down, you can actually wedge the wires into spots on the chassis and route it away from moving parts and from the battery tray area. We used a couple of zip ties to secure the wires to the chassis as well. So as you can see, this is an easy way to clean up your wires and protect them from nicks that might happen over the course of a race day. The Team Losey Racing 22 has been blowing up on our forums and has taken the RC world by storm. What are your thoughts on the design of this new two-wheel drive buggy? Go to rccaraction.com and let us know what you think is the 22's most impressive feature. Check out our world exclusive first drive of the Team Losey Racing 22 in the February issue of RC Car Action Magazine. Model Airplane News editors are experts in the workshop and love getting readers up to speed with how-to articles and instructional videos. We have a series of great tips and tricks you can do while covering and trimming your planes with top flight Monaco. Go to modelairplanenews.com for the full videos. Today's episode of the Radio Control Show is brought to you exclusively by amainhobbies.com for all your RC needs. amainhobbies.com carries a huge inventory of RC cars, trucks, helis, planes, parts and accessories, all at the best prices around. For one-stop RC shopping, look no further than amainhobbies.com. Shoveling snow in the wintertime is not a fun task, and a man from Bowling Green, Kentucky decided to make it into something more fun. Check out this really cool RC snowplow. You could be sitting in your garage, plug it in, drive it out, walk back through your house, be watching TV out of the corner of your eye and plowing your driveway. The concept behind Bobby Flume's plowbot is simple. Back to center. And left. All from the pull the switch. Let a machine do something you really don't want to. He came up with the idea a couple years ago. Now he's ready to bring it to the masses. Last year I was a bit of a tinkerer, had a little snow plow, got a huge reaction out of it, and uh, wanted to kind of explore and take it to the next level. This is the result. Small, compact, and packs a punch. This 90-pound remote control robot can clear up to 5 inches of snow with its 26-inch blade. That's about 125 pounds. There's no doubt about it, Scale RC helis are super exciting. With awesome detail and impressive performance and flight times, this new generation of realistic scale electric helicopters has truly matured. The new UH-60 Blackhawk is the latest offering from RC Aerodyne, and we think you'll agree it's one seriously cool military whirlybird.
Be sure to check out airagestore.com now through December 24th and get 20% off all books, DVDs, and digital products, including our latest DVD, Advanced Aerobatics Made Easy. Go to rccaraction.com slash rcshowsweeps and modelairplanenews.com slash rcshowsweeps and enter our radio control show sweepstakes. Fill out the form and enter these promo codes. Good luck. Losi has had a lot of success with their 10 scale and 18 scale sprint cars and now they've entered the full size world of sprint car racing with Lance Norick. Lance Norrick is known for racing in the NASCAR series, and he's owned one of the best tracks in the country. Let's check out this video of Lance in action. Remember to head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the January issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check out rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered this week. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. And we'll see you next time. No. <laughs> hey, you! Yes, you right there on the other side of the computer. Electronic speed control. <laughs>